Hey guys, so today I'm filming my hit it or quit it thoughts on hauls number 18. If you've never seen this video from me before, I'll have my playlist linked down below. And basically I'm going to be reviewing all of the products that I featured in a haul from about 10 months back. And oftentimes, once you see products in a haul, you never hear them mentioned again, unless they're in a favorites or in empties. So the point of these videos is to give you my thoughts on every single item that I hauled for you. My inspiration for this series was it's Kirsten and her what I thought on stuff I bought series. I will have her channel and her playlist linked down below. Make sure you go check her out. I will also link down below the original video and I will list and link all of the items that I am mentioning. So let's just get started. So please forgive the glasses. My eye was killing me yesterday so I decided to give my eyes a break from contacts for today. So this was actually a really big haul. I have a lot of drugstore products and I have a bunch of skincare things. This is when all of the lines were really releasing a lot of things for the new year so I've got a lot of things to talk about. So my first two items are from MAC and I like to order my limited edition MAC products from Nordstrom because I can get cash back on Ebates. They have free fast two-day shipping. They have free samples with any beauty purchase and MAC collections do not sell out near as fast on Nordstrom as they do on the MAC site. So the thing that I had purchased was one of the ombre blushes from the Toledo collection. This is what the packaging looks like which I really love and this is in the shade right peach. So I was so stoked to have this in my life because this is a product that I have been wanting for years when it originally came out. So the first time this came out was in a spring forecast collection and it was way before I was ever interested in MAC makeup. I think it may have been from 2009 or 2010 and I was excited to see that this was being re-released and this is a huge regret for me because this is an incredibly sheer blush. So I did read in Tamtalia's review that the Toledo blush ombres were a lot more sheer than the originals and also that the colors were a little bit different. For instance, the Toledo version of Ripe Peach is more orangey peachy where the original had some more pink tones to it, which I think I would have preferred. So this is something that I totally regret buying. I've only used it a handful of times, so I think I'm going to try to sell this. And then the free sample that I had got with that order, one of the free samples, was the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara. I haven't tried this yet. I have so, so many mini mascaras in my back stock here that I'm trying to work through, so I haven't been able to use this one yet. Next I had two things from Ulta. First would be the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. This is the deluxe size, which by the way, two of the deluxe sizes has the exact same amount of product as a full size, but they're cheaper. These travel sizes are 16 and I think the full size is 38 or 40. So you can get two of these for $32 or the full size for 38 or 40 and you're getting the exact same amount of product. So just a little tidbit there, get the travel sizes and you actually are getting more for your money, which doesn't usually happen, but it does in the case of the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. I love this. I have tried a couple different pore minimizing primers and I felt like they did something, but not a ton. And I even have tried the Benefit Porefessional. I love this one way more than the Benefit. I am absolutely going to repurchase this. I have had this for a very long time. I've had it for 10 months. I've used it pretty much every day. And I'm like down to here. I've used up half of this because you only need a small amount. This is definitely, definitely worth the money, even though it is an expensive primer for such a small size it will take you forever to go through and this actually does help blur my pores and help my makeup go over top of them more smoothly so I definitely love this. I will finish it up and repurchase it. And at the time Ulta had sent me a coupon that I could get this little sample size of the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara for free so I figured why the heck not? It was with any purchase. So that's actually why I purchased a Smashbox primer was because I wanted to get this free mascara sample. And I'm so glad that I did because like I said, it is like my favorite thing ever. So here is the Benefit Roller Lash. I also haven't tried this one yet. Next I had purchased some things from Maybelline and Maybelline had just released a whole bunch of new stuff, but I also repurchased two of my good old standbys. I had repurchased the Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Liner, which I no longer love. 
in the past year they've changed the formula it is not as pigmented black it's very watery so I'm not gonna be purchasing this anymore please let me know your favorite liquid liners because this has changed which is disappointing you guys know this is holy grail I've been using this since high school before I knew anything about makeup so I don't recommend this and I'm not gonna be repurchasing it the other thing I had repurchased was the Maybelline define a brow in the shade dark blonde I absolutely love this brow pencil I will repurchase this it is great quality it draws onto skin and onto brow hairs really well and it's a really nice fine tip and then I had purchased a couple new things from Maybelline at the time the first one is the Maybelline master conceal concealer I have the shade fair I think this comes in four or five shades so this concealer is super duper pigmented the fair shade kind of has a peachy undertone so this works for under my eyes but not for any blemishes on my face and this is very opaque like I said but it doesn't have a matte finish it does stay dewy so I do have to set it so if you are looking for a full coverage concealer for under your eyes and you have dry skin I think that you'll really love this even though I have oily skin it doesn't do anything bad on my oily skin but it doesn't wow me either I much prefer concealers that have this nice full coverage but they have a satin or matte finish so I am going to try to finish this up but I will not be repurchasing this the next was the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I have the shade number 100 translucent, which is not actually translucent shade. It's very fair with a yellow undertone and I have completely used this up. I have gone through several of these powders this year. This is holy grail status to me. It does set my makeup. It does help keep me matte and the shade is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to continue to repurchase this. I would definitely recommend this powder for anyone that has has combo oily skin I think you'll really enjoy it then I purchased three of their rebel blooms lipsticks which are their like pastel line I do love the radiant orchid packaging but honestly this was an impulse buy I regret these I haven't used any of them more than once or twice because I just don't love this formula I feel like this formula is more sheer than the vivids and then their creamy matte so those lines I like the rebel blooms line I don't love as much and of course it probably has to do with the shades so I purchased three shades the first one I have is peach poppy which I love peaches but this one is just a little too bright and it makes my teeth look a little yellow this one also isn't crazy pigmented I really have to layer it up then I purchased the shade Lilac Flush, which again is a cool color, but it isn't wearable. I feel like it makes my teeth look yellow. I much prefer the MAC Sheen Supreme Lipstick in Asian Flower as my favorite Lilac Lavender lipstick. So don't love these. And then the one wearable shade in the line I purchased is Blushing Bud. This is a really pretty natural pink color, but I don't gravitate towards this one in my collection. There are others that I will reach for. I've gone back and forth at whether I want to keep this or we want to give it away because the color is pretty, but I haven't used it. So I'm still kind of on the fence, but I'm leaning more towards just getting it out of my collection. So since I have only used these once or twice, I think I'm going to try to sell these as well. And I know that I've mentioned in a couple videos that I'm going to try to sell things. I'm going to try to put together a blog sale at the beginning of the year once I've been able to really purge my collection some more. So I will give you guys more information when I actually am getting that up. Speaking of lipsticks, I regret buying. These are the Jordana Modern Matte Lipsticks. So a ton of beauty bloggers were received all the new Milani and Jordana products as PR and I had heard amazing things about these and they were very inexpensive I think probably two fifty or three dollars which is why I purchased four shades these are awful so first off the scent is terrible it is like the worst artificial vanilla you've ever smelled mixed with play-doh I absolutely hate the smell and the texture of these is terrible they are so incredibly dry but in a waxy way you know when you get like really cheap crayons that are so waxy they don't color worth crap that's 
it's these. The, I find that they like really tug on my lips. Like I'm pulling the skin of my lips like all the way over here trying to apply some color. It is crazy. I don't understand how people are saying that they like these because they didn't work for me at all. And I tried all four shades. These colors that I picked up are all neutral shades. They're very pretty, but the formula and the smell is just god awful. So I'm going to show you the shades that I have. There is one that I contemplated keeping because I love the color so much. And that would be this color matte bear. This is an amazing like Marsala lipstick, but honestly color pop lippy stick and brink is very similar. I think I like this color a little bit better, but the formula is so terrible. Brink will definitely do the job. So if you like this color, get color pop brink instead. I also have the shade matte classy. I have matte blush, which is the lightest nude in the collection. And I also have matte tease, which is a really pretty pink. I'm going to try to sell these two because I have used them each once or twice. And then I had purchased some things from Milani. First was one of their moisture matte lipsticks. This is one of the original shades. The Milani moisture mattes are awesome. They originally released 10 shades and then this past fall they released 10 more shades, which I do have one of those as well. So out of the 20 shades, I have two. The other colors are really beautiful, but they're really standard colors that I really already have in my collection even from like the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick line which came out first but I love these lipsticks so I was extremely excited that these Milani lipsticks do not have that same artificial watermelon scent but this scent is a nice light vanilla isn't too overpowering as well and the Milani Moisture Matte Lipsticks are very similar to the Maybelline I think the Maybelline are a little bit thicker so I might like these even a smidge more because the Maybelline when you reapply them they can cake up a little bit but I find that these are amazing they feel super comfortable they are a nice matte finish without being too dry they wear for a long time I do like the colors I really love these lipsticks this is the shade matte blissful if I didn't say it is a beautiful dusty blue tone pink and then I purchased another new Milani product and this is one of their rose powder blushes which Milani had released a couple different times in limited edition collections but they added three shades to their permanent line and I picked up the shade coral cove and and this is a super intense bright neon coral blush and this color actually I didn't love on me and you guys know I love bright blush but this shade was a little too orange for me I probably would have liked it more if it had some more pink tones to it but I remember coffee break with Danny doing a review on these blushes and not recommending them Danny said that the blushes were super super chalky and they did not apply evenly in a swatch or really with a brush either and I have to say that's true especially in a swatch these are incredibly incredibly patchy I think the design is super pretty you get a lot of blush for your money but I didn't love the shade or the formula this is another thing I'm going to try to sell because I only used it a few times my last Milani product was a repurchase this is the clear shaping brow gel and here's what the little wand looks like I love this brow gel this is the best drugstore clear brow gel that I have ever tried you do get a kind of a tiny tube I would go through these every three months and right now I'm using some tinted brow mascaras which I'm really enjoying this doesn't hold as well as the Anastasia but it does hold my brows pretty well it doesn't make them crunchy so I really do enjoy the formula of this brow gel and I definitely would recommend it next I had purchased a couple elf things from Target the first is a repurchase of the elf lip exfoliator I absolutely love this it is my favorite lip exfoliator ever I love that it is in like a lipstick format because it's so much easier to use just scrubbing it on your lips than you have to stick your fingers into a pot. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a great lip scrub. The next thing I had purchased was the e.l.f. Glitter Eyeshadow Primer. I love this. This does an amazing job making your eyeshadows more vibrant and really helping them stick to your eye. I like to use these underneath of any pigments, my MAC Extra Dimension shadows, and my ColourPop eyeshadows. Some of my ColourPop shades 
are metallic but they have some glitter particles and the glitter can tend to fall off of my lid but if I put the glitter primer underneath it helps those glitter particles stay on my lid as well so I definitely recommend this I think this is two dollars and then I had purchased one more elf thing this is their one dollar eyeliner brush and this is a flat liner brush and I picked this up so I can use it to clean up my shadow so what I do is at the corner of my eye I will take some concealer and I will just draw a line here blend it down to really help sharpen up the edges of my eyeshadow I absolutely love this brush I use it basically every day it's a dollar and it's amazing then I have a couple random drugstore products that I picked up the first thing was the boots expert instant matte and I remember Nicole Guerrero raving about this years and years and years ago the reason I had picked this up is because it was on sale at Target I can't remember how much but I know it was on sale because it was being discontinued from Target and I've only used this a couple times. I haven't used it a ton, so I can't really give you my thoughts on it. The next thing I'd purchase is the Wet n Wild Fergie Mattifying Take on the Day Powder. You guys know how much I love this to use to set my under eyes. This is a dupe for the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder Pressed, and this is being discontinued. I just purchased a couple of these from Walgreens because they were on clearance, and these are part of the CVS Annual Beauty Clearance. So if you guys love these, go to your CVS and your Walgreens and pick them up on Sale. Then I had purchased an EOS Smooth Stick in the flavor Sweet Mint, which I love. I've been through several of these. I can find the stick formats at Ulta in that little display by the register. These are incredible, incredible lip balms. My absolute favorite. I love the scent and the texture. Then I had picked up a thing that was on clearance at Target, and this is the Alme Liquid Lip Balms. I have the shade Blooming, which is a really pretty light pink color. I think I've only used this a handful of times. These are super duper sheer. I like the NYX Butter Glosses because they have like a medium opacity. These are more sheer than I would like so I don't reach for this one I'm not sure if this line was discontinued or not um, but I did get it on sale at Target so I want to try to use it more because it's a really comfortable formula but it doesn't give enough color payoff for my liking and the last two things were some random nail drugstore products the first one is this Revlon metal nail fall I purchased from Ulta I use this to pop pans out of my Mac eyeshadow and blush palettes because it can be really hard to get those powders out so I do like this nail file for that. I also use this as a depotting tool, but I actually don't use this for my nails, but I do think that this is nice for that. I don't think it's a must have, but I do definitely get use out of it. And then I had purchased a Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Polish, which I really do love this line. And this is in the shade Cute A Pillar. I bought this shade because I was hoping that it would be a dupe for OPI Mermaid Tears, which is one of my holy grail favorite nail polishes, and it is not. It is a close color match but not exact. I also do not like this formula. Um, I guess this is one of the new Sally Hansen Extreme Wear formulas where it's terrible. It is very gloopy. I find it kind of hard to get an even layer on my nails and even after three layers I can still see some natural nail peeking through in a couple spots so I do not love the formula of the new extreme wears which is a bummer. And lastly I have some skincare products. I don't talk about skincare a ton on my channel because I'm not very knowledgeable about it and the first two things I had picked up were little freebies that I haven't used yet because I'm the worst. This is the Clinique Foaming Sonic Facial Soap, which is a great little travel size. In my toiletry bag, I have a, another travel size face wash that I'm using, but once I finish that up, I'm going to move on to this one. I don't want to put this one in the shower just because I think the size will be perfect for traveling. And then I also have the Super Defense Eye Cream. I never use eye cream. I'm the worst about that. I have one right now from Estee Lauder that I've used maybe twice I need to get better at it but I'm just I just get kind of lazy so I haven't used those things yet so I can't give you my thoughts but then the other skincare products I had were all new at the time the first two were some Garnier clean plus makeup removing products I went around all 
over the place to find these because at the time I could find this one everywhere, but I couldn't find this one. I'm sure you can find them everywhere now, but I had the hardest time finding that and I had to have them both. So the first one that I have here is the Makeup Removing Lotion Cleanser. It is supposed to dissolve even waterproof mascara and gently calm and comfort skin. This is awesome. Makeup Removing Lotion is something that I haven't seen a ton. I know Estee Lauder makes one that I really love, but if you have really sensitive skin that gets easily irritated irritated when you rub it or you have really dry skin, removing your makeup with this lotion cleanser is going to be awesome. It's going to feel so great on your skin. I really do enjoy this. I use this to take off swatches sometimes, but I don't use this one as much as the other because this is something that you have to put on a dry face and then wash it off. The other product is the one that I keep in the shower and this is the Garnier Clean Plus Gentle Clarifying Cleansing Gel. So this formula is a lotion, this formula is a gel. It is supposed to deeply cleanse and remove makeup, soften, purifies, and mattifies. So the word mattify really drew me in. And this is a product that you apply to wet skin, which is why I use this in the shower. This does a great job of removing my face makeup and removing my eye makeup. It doesn't burn my skin or my eyes. It removes everything pretty well. Sometimes I will have to go back in with a Q-tip and really get around my lash line to get off extra or leftover mascara but I really do like both of these cleansers. I'm definitely going to repurchase this one because it's a great product to keep in the shower. I'm not as sure about this one. I love the formula of it, but I just reach for this if I'm in the shower or I use my makeup remover wipes just because I'm lazy, but this is a great, great product. I would definitely recommend it still. Then I had purchased two charcoal cleansers from Biore, which I have never tried that brand before, but I know charcoal is supposed to be really great for oily skin. So the first thing is the Biore Pore penetrating charcoal bar which is a bar of soap and this is something that you can use on the daily because it isn't exfoliating I do really enjoy this I think it cleans my face nicely I think that the charcoal formula is especially great for people with oily skin so I definitely think I would repurchase that it is a nice simple cleanser that I use in the shower and then every two to three days I will use the Biore charcoal pore minimizer which is an exfoliating scrub I would not recommend using an exfoliating on a daily basis because it might be too harsh for your skin. I love this. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this. This is a really, really nice scrub. I feel like deeply cleanses my skin. I do think that I will repurchase both of these and keep them in the shower. Um, this is the one I'll use on the daily and this is one I'll use every two to three days. And I don't think either of these are miracle workers, but they really are just cleansers that have some pore benefits, but I've not noticed that my pores are any smaller, but my face does feel very clean. So I would recommend those if you have oily skin or you have large pores. I definitely do love those products and I will repurchase them. And lastly, I had a body product. This is the Dove Dry Spray Deodorant. It comes in a couple different scents, but the one that I use is the Clear Tone Skin Renew. It has these little beads on it. I love the smell of this so much. And this does a really great job of keeping me smelling good and also keeping me from sweating. With any deodorant, after I use it for a while, the effects stop being as strong. And I have noticed that with this. And I know some people really don't like to use antiperspirant because the ingredients aren't the best for you, but I love this. I have repurchased this a couple different times. This is now like my holy grail deodorant for the fact that I can spray it on, it dries instantly, it does not get onto my clothes, which is something that I always have hated. So I absolutely love this. I would recommend it if you guys don't mind using an antiperspirant and you wanna try it out, I would definitely recommend it. So guys, that was my hit or quit it thoughts on hauls number 18. I would love to know your thoughts if you've tried out any of these products. Thank you all so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.